Hi guys, my name is Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming the second episode of the Bit Life Controls My Sims 4 story. And in the first episode, I don't know what we did wrong, but my Bit Life life was so boring. We were dealt the most boring, plain old deck of cards. And I'm really hoping in this episode that we get a little bit more excitement happening. My Sims are getting off way too easily. Their lives cannot be this easy in this game. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what happens in this episode. Okay, so just as a little recap here, um, this is our main character. This is Carson Perry. She is supposed to be, I think, five right now. In the last episode, I was debating aging her up into a child, which I think we're going to do pretty soon. Her father here, this is Carson Perry as well. He is a pilot and our mother is Danielle Perry and she is a writer. Um, we also have a little dog named Snow who for some reason, Carson does not get along with very well, so I'm going to try and work on their relationship because I don't understand why they've made her hate the dog. <laughs> he did nothing wrong. Okay, so I've opened up BitLife and for some reason I have to drag the flashlight around the room to discover my next heirloom, which I don't currently have an heirloom, so we'll see what this is all about. Okay, drag the flashlight. What am I looking for? The dice? Lucky dice! The average value for this item is $1. Next heirloom available in 13 hours and 15 minutes. I didn't even know this was a part of the game. Okay, yeah, so we became five. We became friends with Scarlet Pickler, and some lucky dice have come into my into my possession. She's really high on pretty much all of her stats, so she's doing pretty good. But you can see back here, like none of the events that happened to us were really eventful. So <laughs> we'll see what happens in this episode. Our relationship with our mother and father is very high. And then you can see little Snow was like not high at all. Scarlet is like our good friend, but we're not best friends yet. So I'm gonna have to create her. Um, but I wanna get her relationship with Snow up. So sad. We'll give him a treat. There we go. We gave Snow some yogurt. I don't know if you can even give dogs yogurt. I'm, I've never given my dog yogurt, but maybe they like it. Where is little Snow? Snow really likes Carson, like the dad Carson. <laughs> so we're going to go over here and play with the puppy. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I thought she was getting taken away for a second. Um, Sent to daycare. And while everyone is gone, I think I'm going to go and create little Scarlet. <laughs> okay, so I've kind of created Scarlet and her mom here. This is Kaylin Pickler. This is her mother and Scarlet Pickler, the little toddler here. Maybe I'll give her that hair. She looks cool with that little bun. I think I'm gonna give her some little freckles. I don't know why, like I feel like the toddlers should always just have freckles. They're so cute with them. For her outfit, I downloaded like a couple things. I really don't have too, too much for my toddlers in my game. There we go. That's adorable. She can wear that. Okay, there we go. We've got little Scarlet Pickler and her mom, Kaylin. So this is going to be our new friends. We're going to introduce them somehow. Maybe I'll send them off to like the park or something. I'm back in my BitLife household here. I wanted to see if I could spend time with the mother or the father, see what happened and what we were given as options. Um, so with the mother, Danielle, um, it said, your mother took you for a tandem bike ride in the city. I think before I do anything, I'm going to age her up. I'm going to age her up right now. A lot of these things I can't do as a toddler. So here we are. We are now a child. I'm going to give her a quick makeover, actually. I, again, don't have custom content for children. I'm going to have to do another like CC shopping video where I do just like shopping for toddlers and children. I think I'm going to do that. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see in the comments down below. But regardless, I have to do it. Like I have no options here. I can't even give her like eyelashes or anything because I don't have them enabled for children. Or wait, can I? No, I can't. Shoot. She did have these little freckles on, so I'll give her those back. She can have those for life. Maybe I'll fix her eyebrows. There we go. She's got great eyebrows for a child, I must say. Oh, we didn't pick her trait. What is she supposed to be like again? She's supposed to be really smart, really happy. Maybe I'll make her cheerful like her mom. That makes sense. And for her aspiration, oh, I really shouldn't have been doing it like this. Shoot. Oh, well, um, <laughs> her mom is a writer, which means she's probably pretty creative. So we're going to go ahead and give her this one. If we have to change it, we can come, come back and change it later on. I'm just going to change her outfit really quick. Oh my God, I have nothing in my game and I never, ever make children either like ever in my game. All of these are still new because I just don't have kids in my game. I mean, I guess that's kind of cute. And I'll change her shoes to like, <laughs> I don't know, 
I normally never even bother like dressing them. Like however the kids come in the game is like how they come. Like I don't ever bother changing it. Actually, this is really cute. And it's kind of like her coat outfit from before too. There, perfect. That's just like how she was before. Do I want to change all of this stuff? Like, do I care that much? Not really. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a cool little top she's got on. There. I don't know. This is what she's going to wear. This is what she's going to look like. This is Carson Perry as a child. I guess I should go and age up Scarlet too. Fuck. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll give Scarlet a quick little makeover here. What does Scarlet look like? Scarlet has like brown hair. I don't know what's with the bug. Like how come sometimes for like kids hair, you can't make it brown or black. I'm confused. Anyway, so she kind of has like bangs. So kind of like that. Okay, whatever. This is Scarlet Pickler. <laughs> um, it doesn't say too much about Scarlet yet. So if anything changes in the BitLife world, we can come back and change things for her. Um, but for now, this is our friend Scarlet as a child. Okay, so I did a little interaction with the mother. It says we're going to go for a bike ride in the city. So I'm going to hope that we're going to go on the bike ride and that's where we're going to meet Scarlet, our new friend. Even though it's a little late, you know, we're going to go out anyway. BitLife told us to... <laughs> We'll go out, go into the city, and we're gonna pretend that we're going on a little bike ride. I don't I don't know if that's even possible. I think I'm gonna buy the bikes, actually. And would you look at that? Two bikes just happen to be here in the city. Wow, weird. First thing I'm gonna do is a friendly introduction here because this is Scarlett's mom. And I'm not seeing Scarlett here. I did know that this girl was going to be um, at this location. So I'm gonna friendly introduction really fast before she leaves. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so we're meeting her mom and she's like, oh, I have a daughter your age. We're new to the city, so she needs a friend. Maybe you can come over and meet her one time. Really weird that would happen in real life, I think. But in The Sims, I think that's perfectly normal. <laughs> Danielle and Kaylin can be friends too because she doesn't really have a friend in the game yet. Poor girl is really tired. She just finished work and I made her go here. So I'm going to send them over for their bike ride really quickly. What is the difference between ride bike and ride bike around? Uh, we'll go like that. Oh, we don't know how to use the bike. Can I get her to teach me how to how to use the bike? Okay, well, I guess we'll just watch our mom go on the bike ride. Why can't the kids use the bike? Is there a children's bike? No, there's only the one. What? Oh my God, the, the main thing I did when I was a kid was ride my bike. I'm so bummed about that. Okay, well, sorry girl, you're just gonna watch your mom ride the bike, I guess. Okay, well, Danielle is like exhausted. She's not having a good time, so I think I'm gonna send them home. We've met Kaylin, and then tomorrow, maybe I will bring them over and take her up on that play date that we were going to have, because it kind of makes sense. I don't know, th this is what we're gonna go with here. This is how they're gonna meet. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy a new bed for Scarlett, because she's a child now. She doesn't need the toddler bed. Some people have like crazy amounts of like babies in this and like we only have one just the only child here we haven't really had any like life changing things happen yet so i'm gonna sell that bed we're gonna get a kid bed a real life child bed <laughs> there we go that kind of matches the room there and we're gonna go to sleep in the morning we will go over to kaylin's and meet scarlet oh shoot we're a kid now we have to go to school i forgot about that okay well i'll send her to school maybe she'll meet uh scarlet there and if not, then she can go over to Kaylin's house after. I love that she can like take care of herself now though. <laughs> I don't have to worry about her getting taken away, which is good. We've made it. We're going to keep her, it looks like. <laughs> okay, she's off to school. He's up. He always does this. He'll like wake up and then like look at Danielle in like factuation with her. And in the meantime, this dog, I filled this bowl like six times today we've met elsa i don't want to meet elsa i want to meet scarlet we've met tane come on scarlet are you in school or no carson's back home okay um so danielle is out walking the dog so i'm gonna send her back so that they can go together to kaylin's house okay so we are here at kaylin's house and danielle and kaylin are going to hang out have a little like mommy hangout day and Carson is going to meet Scarlett here and they're gonna become good friends oh how cute the beginning of a friendship Scarlett looks really shy is she okay oh she's embarrassed what happened I kind of want them to play because she needs to have some fun here <laughs> Oh, this chick's really pretty. She just came out of nowhere. Who the heck is she? No, why T-Lo? Oh my god, no, why is such a cool name? 
I've never heard that name before. I love the Sim. She just came out of nowhere. Look at her. She's so cool. Maybe they can be friends too. Why not? Yeah, compliment this girl on her outfit and her hair. I'm not sure where Kaylin went, but uh, we just made a new best friend, I think. <laughs> Look at this friend group. Okay, this is goals right here. Goals, they're gorgeous. Yes, this is the mom group. I don't know if she's got a kid, but she can come to our hangouts. <laughs> Maybe she's a mermaid. She's definitely a mermaid, this girl. I've <laughs> literally just been standing outside on the street this whole time. We haven't even gone into um, Kaylin's house, but like to be fair, she hasn't really invited us in. <laughs> okay, so it's getting late. She's going to go pee in a bush, so I think it's time for them to go home. Their relationship has gotten pretty good. They're definitely friends, but they're not as high up there as I would like. Scarlet Pickler is our official new friend in the game. So I want to see if we can do any like activities yet. It says we're still an infant though. I think I'm going to go ahead and age her up again to age six because she is a child now and it still says she's an infant in bit life for some reason. So we're going to age. We are starting primary school. Perfect. We started like yesterday. So our school is Leah Davis primary school. It's a private school. Like this is a thing. It's like, yeah, she's enrolled in school. Like, so what? Like, can we do activities now? Yes, we can. Okay. We can get another pet. Maybe we'll do that. What are our relationships looking like? We're still like decent with um, Scarlett and Carson. We can go to the movies. No school, primary school. So our grades in school are supposed to be pretty good because we are smart. So I guess I can get her to do her homework. Wait, where is her homework? Unless she doesn't have any yet. Okay, well, when she has homework, I will get her to do that. Where is it? She's supposed to be pretty popular. Oh, you can see all of the people in her class. So she does not get along very well with her teacher, but she's very smart. See, now we can do like more interesting things because we are older. She's got a lot of people in her class. For the most part, she's pretty liked, but her teacher and her just don't get along. So I think we're going to act up in there because it's kind of ironic that she's really smart, really popular, good in school, but like her teacher like just and her just don't mesh. Someone needs to clean this bathtub. This is getting out of control. Okay, so we have to go to class. We're running a little late just to kind of like bother our teacher a little bit. We're going to make more friends because um, in BitLife we have tons apparently and we're really popular. And this counter what's going on here I'm just like letting the house get so dirty so Scarlett wants to ditch school and go play hooky somewhere she wants to go to the nightclub yes please um Scarlett is a little bit crazier than we expected apparently <laughs> so we're gonna ditch school go to the nightclub like I said we don't get along with our teacher very much so this would make sense that the teacher would be kind of pissed off that we did this I did want to act up in her class anyway so I feel like instead of acting up leaving to go to a nightclub might be kind of a good idea I think Scarlett might be a little bit of a bad influence look at her she's not even looking back she's like yeah I'm skipping school and I'm going to this nightclub even though I'm six <laughs> she's a little tense maybe she's a little worried um, that she skipped class where is she going oh she's going to the downstairs she's not even going to the regular nightclub she's like going down to the basement her parents are off to work they don't know that she and Scarlett here are playing downstairs in the dirty closets of a nightclub I don't know um, how well that would go over with me as a parent <laughs> can they go dance let's go dance yeah go dance at this nightclub <laughs> all of these adults are just like chilling here and then there's two kids in the background just like living it up <laughs> We've got Jade, the party girl over here, and then us. Maybe they'll ask us to join their club. <laughs> Look at her, she's like stomping around. She's angry. Oh my God. <laughs> Whose dance move is to stomp around like that? What is happening? This is so funny. I think I would die if I saw this happening at a club. But the thing is, she's pumped about it. This girl is always ready to party. Doesn't matter who you are. She's like, hell yeah, I'll get down. Little Carson here is going down a bad path, I think. This is not good. Okay, when was school supposed to go till? I'm gonna send, okay, it was supposed to go till three, so I'm gonna send them home now. Our new friend Jade, the party girl, we gotta go, I gotta rip her away from this dance floor here to send her home. Oh shit, she's another one, she loves to party too. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna send her home. It's gonna look like we just finished class because it's like three o'clock and this is when it would normally be ending. We still don't have homework in our inventory for some reason. So I can't even like get started on that. 
so I guess we can go into our relationships here and say that we partied with Scarlett. It was lit. <laughs> you went to your friend Scarlett's family holiday party and played Sega Genesis games. Not quite. That's what we're going to tell people that we did if they ask. I kind of want to go in and see what this like lucky dice thing is all about. Years and family, one year, and it's valued at $1. So like, is it really that bad of a thing to lose? Are you sure you want to play with your lucky dice? Yes. Wonder what else is in the attic. You played with your lucky dice. Is that it? I thought something cool would happen. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have played with the lucky dice. I don't understand this game. Okay, so we're gonna go to sleep. So my camera turned off, but I told her to act up in her teacher's class. And it said that we were going to skip again, which is very convenient because Scarlett has just asked us to go skip to the nightclub again. We're gonna assume that she did skip the class, but she got caught because we did have to have a talking to from the principal um, who is actually on our good side. We do get along with Mrs. Ho, but our grades have dropped like significantly, which is exactly what's happening in the game as well. We haven't done our homework like at all. We've been too busy skipping school and getting in trouble really. So maybe I'll just go and like apologize to her teacher. We've told our teacher that we think she's a gem. There we go, now she loves us. I think I'm gonna age her up in, bi in bit life, see what happens to age seven. So our classmate, Portia, has been telling you that you are ugly every day. What will you do? Uh, we're gonna charge her. <laughs> you lunged at Portia. You, you backhanded her breast, okay? Um, so now we have to make a bully in the game and we're over here telling our mom that we really don't like this bully. We're pissed off. The mom is supposed to be cheerful. So she's like, oh, just calm down. It's going to be fine. But no, we're going to be really mad at Portia here. So what does Portia look like? Portia Gauthier. I'm going to create Portia the bully and they're going to get in a huge fight. It says she backhanded her. So they're going to have to like actually physically fight. So Portia literally came over to Carson's house here and she's basically saying, I heard a rumor that you were talking about me at school. I, I really don't like you. We called her a wuss and she came back and told us that we're a wench. So rude. Oh, Danielle's pissed too. Look at her. She looks crazy. <laughs> she's like, get out, you psycho child. Oh my God. So yeah, now they hate each other. I think Danielle's gonna come over here and lay down the law and just be like, get out of my house. You're fighting my child. They like hate each other. So I'm gonna get her to fight with her again. Insult her, yes. We've called her a bedwetter. And she lunged at us. She snapped your cheek. She fractured your spleen. <gasps> we need to go to the doctor, I think. Oh, and our happiness is going down. Our life is going to shit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to send you home. Go back into the household because I think we have to send Carson to the doctor. She got injured in that fight, apparently. This girl's so evil. Look at her walking home in the rain. She came to do her business, get in a fight with Carson. And she's going home. She's crazy. Yeah, we won the fight, but we're a little injured from it. So I think we're going to go to the doctor. Which doctor do we want to consult? They're both pretty equal on the reputation scale. So let's go to Dr. Dr. Laura. You're good. She has determined you are not currently suffering from any conditions. Okay, perfect. We are nice and healthy. We've won our fight, but now we have an enemy named Portia. Our smarts are still really up considering we haven't done any homework um, ever, but our happiness is going down and our health is kind of going down a little bit too. Maybe I'll send her to like the movies. Boost your happiness by going to see a children's film today. So we're gonna go see that. And we've boosted our happiness back up to 67. So what I'm gonna do is add a TV in the living room and then have her watch a movie with her mom. And it said we watched a kid's movie. So we're gonna watch the kid's movie and I'm gonna have her sit and watch it. They can all sit and watch it actually. Let's all sit and watch some kids TV and boost our happiness back up. Things have been a little rocky for Carson Perry. She's been pretty bad, honestly. Ditching school, getting in fights, her grades have dropped, but she's still really smart. She just has a really bad relationship with her teachers now and with obviously Portia, who we hate. But we're boosting her happiness a little bit. I think I'm gonna age her up one more time, see what age eight has, then we'll end the episode. So it says, our dog Snow just tried to eat a chicken leg right out of our hand. What are we gonna do? Um, we're going to train him not to do that. We worked on his behavior, but it was not really that effective. I mean, Snow has been really good. I don't want her to have to do that. We'll just talk to him and say that we're kind of giving him trouble for bad behavior. Even though he's been such a good dog, we can't 
We can't get mad at him. After she aged up, her happiness did go back up a little bit. I'm gonna age her up one more time, see what age nine has. <gasps> Snow! I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Snow is supposed to die. No. I'm, I don't wanna just kill Snow. So I'm gonna leave her at age nine until Snow dies. How old is little Snow? He's taking a poop. I don't know how old he's supposed to be. He's an adult. So I'm gonna end it here, that's so sad. Oh, and her happiness went way down, obviously, because her dog dies when she's nine. Okay, so I guess that's what's in store for us eventually. I'm gonna end the episode here. I did want more things to happen, but not that. I guess it has been pretty eventful. We've skipped school, we've gone to a nightclub, our best friend is a little bit crazy, and our enemy is even crazier. <laughs> so I'm curious to see what's gonna happen in the next episode, but I really don't want Snow to die. I wish I didn't age her up. Oh, I feel so bad now. <laughs> We're just gonna have to see what happens next time, I guess. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.